good morning from Knott's Berry Farm, one of our absolute favorite places to play the carnival games. There's a lot going on. Okay, so it's Ghost Town Alive, which means they have one of those special plushy stamp cards. We're gonna have to tell you about that. There's new games in the boardwalk area and the games in Fiesta Village have reopened, maybe a new game. I don't know, we've got to check it out. Plus it looks like they've got some new game policies that are in our favor, your favor, the player's favor. And that's what we like to see. So let's see if we can win some prizes and get a very special prize here at Knott's Berry Farm. It is a stunning June day in Southern California as we're filming this. Look at that, the train's coming by over here. Three Point Challenge is up and running. There are no clouds in the sky. Oh, it's a beautiful day to be around and it's a beautiful play to play some games here on the boardwalk. Let's go uh, find what we're gonna play first. Okay, here's that other games bundle that we've been talking about. This is one of our favorite things that Knott's does. So it's the Ghost Town Farm Collection for their Ghost Town Alive series. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, we were informed of this happening and did I have a little panic attack about how cute these animals were? Yes, I did. So play 12 games and then you can collect each one. Um, there's four different options to collect, but there's one that we're going for today. Tell them what it is, Spencer. Okay, so you have this rooster, which I think is Rufus. You have a cute little pig. You have a Brutus the donkey, but you have the catawampus here. Look how cute these are. These are actually a pretty decent size too. Like that's a 12 inch squishmallow above it. And that's the size of it right there. And the catawampus is a mythical creature known only to Knott's Berry Farm. Yes. So, so this is the most branded of branded prizes I've ever seen in my life. Right. Now they all have Knott's tags and usually, you know, they're really cute and themed to Knott's or boys and berries. But this one is an ultra specific niche reference to Knott's Berry Farm. And we're definitely gonna have to get this today. Let's kick it off in the only way we know how with tub toss. Um, so prices have been fluctuating at a lot of the parks, so please make sure you check before you play. Yes. Um, right now while we're playing this, it is $7 for the three balls. Okay. Looks like they have a new offer for the instant replay, um, where if you play again, you get an extra ball, which I really like that's going to be for your first replay. Um, so I still think that's fair. Um, I'm assuming it's two in for the tiny Pokemon and three in for the large Pokemon. Yeah, it seems right, doesn't it? Okay, so um, they've covered up the middle tub though, which is weird. Uh, it's so weird, they like drilled into it too, which is even weirder. That's the only thing I don't like, but I, gotta, I like everything else. I gotta duck down a little bit because these Pokemon are so low here. <laughs> we got our foul line up front here. We got three balls to make it happen. Let's see, I haven't been even like making it to the tub recently. I've been throwing it too light. Oh. You want to get it light with the side spin on this one, but I've been throwing it too light. Who are you, me? I know. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, that was too hard, see? Okay, we overcompensated, but that's okay. I've just spotted a baby Gengar though. No, nah, it's too hard again and not enough side spin. I don't know, I gotta get into it. It's been a while. Yeah, see if you can get this third one here. Okay, okay, see, I got the third one. That's okay, but we're gonna have our instant replay, so we're gonna get four balls for the price of three now. Ooh. Okay, so this time we've done our instant replay, paid the same $7, but he's gotten four balls, so you could miss one now. That's awesome, I love that. Well, I missed two last time, so let's hope I don't do that again. Yeah, but your last one was really good. That's true. Okay, that's one. Nice. See, that's, that's two, so that's a winner. Gengar. It's a winner. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's You three. didn't need the bonus ball. Can I try the bonus ball just in case? This is for the bonus ball. Uh, Let's do this. <laughs> that was a little bit rough, but I still got Whoa! it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> first guy, first winner, four balls. Dude. Four balls. Charmander, Charizard, Squirtle is at your disposal. It's up to you. Oh, oh man. The Pikachu is the biggest. We got to go over the Pikachu. Pikachu it is. I'm going to step in the back and bring Pikachu's coming out. You got it. Thank you. Look at that. Okay, so I needed that warm up of the, the first three balls. That's what I said. I said it. I felt like confident if you got the third one. Man. Oh, that was awesome. I cannot believe that I literally got all four balls in there. I love that replay offer. That's something new that I think all the Cedar Bear Barks are going to start doing. And I definitely think that adds a little bit of a comfort to it. You know, we always say to pay for multiple times to have that comfort level. So you're not like always like, oh, I only got this one time. But having a fourth ball, being able to miss one and still get the biggest prize, one of the biggest prizes in the entire park. Unless you're Spencer and you don't miss one. <laughs> I like the option. I can't even see you. I know, it's so big. That's why I wanted the Pikachu because it was the largest one out of all of them. I like that Charizard and I really like that Squirtle, but I had to go for the giant Pikachu. Come on. And it was the last one that they have here. Those are just the ones that display. They don't really give those away because they kind of get a little dirty sometimes. She had to go all the way to like the back of the back of the back game section to find the last Pikachu that they had. So I'm so excited for this. 
I don't know if it's going to come home with us, but some child is going to be very excited to have the last Pikachu today yes, in the park. Yes, this one will definitely be given away in the park. I'm so sorry we won't show it to you guys. You'll just have to take our word for it. By the end of the video or after the video, we'll give it away. Okay. If you get one in, you will leave one of these horrible. Oh, okay. If you get two in, you will leave with my cute guys on the wall Aww. right here. And if you look on the back wall, Ooh. you get three in, you're going to leave with oh, an my. Astor, unicorn, or Easter. Oh. Okay. Uh. So we have a nice variety of prizes here at basketball. We like this basketball game. And I got to show you guys the replays here. Yeah. Okay, so instant replay rewards is my new favorite thing. Um, first replay gets one extra ball. Second replay gets two extra Ooh. balls. This deal is fire, Yeah, honestly. so that means on your third play here with the $8 deal, you're going to get five balls. Yeah. And That's you only need three deal. to get the top level price. So it's just like Top Sauce where you have to get three to get the top level price. But you can miss twice there. And so um, it's $4 for one ball, $8 for three balls. Please don't catch me seeing you just pay for one ball never just pay for the three balls <laughs> okay so i've been doing really good in a back uh, in an overhand but i've only ever played this game underhand and won it so we're gonna try it underhand once okay okay we're gonna see if i can do it again okay that's what? one what what that's one we watched someone play right before spencer he got so close he was doing overhand which is possible definitely at this version of basketball but um, he unfortunately didn't get one in. But I can't believe Spencer's already got a cute little belly buddy. We already got a belly buddy. Oh, Ooh, it bounced that right was off the backboard. So oh my gosh, and it's out. Oh, oh, and oh hit Pikachu. It hit Pikachu. It hit Pikachu. It's okay. Oh, it's a whole thing. You know us. You <laughs> All know right, let's see. Do. I would like to get two because I would like to get that chicken. Okay. I don't know why. The chicken is just chicken. very funny to me. It's very I like themed. when Spencer picks the prizes he wants. That was a little left. Nah, that's all right. Oh, oh my goodness. god, hit Pikachu again. At that same spot. Hey, that's Dad coming back. Mr. Spence, this is the pizza. Oh, I got a, I got a rebound. Oh, okay, man. let's see. For the chicken. <laughs> this is all for the chicken. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, it's okay. All right, we still got a little belly buddy, though. Yes, we got a very cute little belly buddy. Which one are you going to pick? Oh, we have later balls. Oh, we can get a little basketball, too. I forgot. Uh, let's do the little cow, if you have it. Definitely. I like the little farm animals. Those are really I know, cute. yeah. <gasps> Look how cute that is. And it definitely is like, you know, we're at the ghost town alive. We got the catawampus going on. So I definitely feel like the little barn animals make sense too. Thank you so much. I got my stamp card coming too. Oh, we're so close to that catawampus already. I feel it. The replay deals are too good. We didn't even walk away. We didn't even contemplate it no, that long. I know. We're already in for the replay. So this time he gets four tries to try to get one, two, or three in. It's just a good deal. I want the chicken. Who wants I'm chicken. just putting the chicken into the universe, He's okay? He's committed to the chicken. That's okay, one. That was the first one again. We're halfway to the chicken. That's exactly what I did the first time again, and that's what I want to keep doing. Okay, but do that again, and then you get the chicken. Okay, thank you, Katie. Yeah, this is all for the chicken. This is for the chicken. You got three balls. <laughs> three balls left. Three balls left. You need to make one of the next three to get a chicken. Uh, there's a lot to the left again. That's what I was doing before. Oh, oh okay, okay. We got two more tries for the chicken. <laughs> all right, all right. But I already have another little belly buddy, so I'm not going to be mad about it. Yeah, that's true. Whoa, it touched the ceiling there. Whoa. Ooh, that was close. That was close. This is the final. This is the money shot for the chicken. Okay, this is the money shot for the chicken. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah! yeah! Chicken! <laughs> yeah! Look at that! Oh my that. gosh, it's so Oh my gosh. We said we're not going to keep too many prizes from today because our luggage is really full, but I guess we're keeping the chicken. <laughs> we're going to keep the chicken, of course. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Look how cute that is. I love it. So now I have my little cow. I have my little chicken. I have my giant Pikachu. And very soon we're going to get our catawampus. We are at Boing Boing. Boing Boing. This is my favorite and least favorite game simultaneously only because we haven't won it it's like the only game at not i know it does elude us but i always like that it has squishmallows i know and the small price today is actually these little cute gumball axolotls which are also very fun i like this too okay here we go oh uh, already a tink so today we're just playing the five dollar bucket which has roughly 15 balls i think that's all Ooh. we need and honestly since we're trying to get more games to fill up our stamp card for the catawampus oh this seems like the better value today yeah exactly that's how i feel and we've definitely done this at this game as well where we come and we only do the small buckets sometimes even multiple times just to make sure we can fill out our stamp card you get some decent plunks in there 
There's a nice clump over here going on. Not too much boing boing though. There's, there's some boing boing. That was boing boing. Okay. Oh, that was good. Ooh. How did that leave? Okay, I, I have four left. Four left, okay. Oh, oh, it, oh, it looped out of one and hit the other one. All right, this is it. Oh, I'll do one more after this no, one. No, I've got two in my hands. you got two in your hands. Okay, this. Oh, that was bad. Don't don't look at that one. Oh, oh. It, it, all those, it was so close. <laughs> They're all like hanging out in this area, which is super fun. I think we might have knocked the red bucket off, so we'll oh have to gosh. tell her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, still a lot of fun. We still got a stamp on our card, which means we're even closer to our guaranteed prize today. Underneath the observation tower, you got three new games. Three entirely new games this here. This is where the little radio station set up was, this right? This is, yeah. They definitely opened up the area and put three different games here. Uh, you have Airtime, which is a multiplayer knock the beach ball off the air. Never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it, too. Very interesting. They had a lot of custom signage made for this. Uh, you have Surfside Hoops, which is a mildly medium range basketball. Not as far as that other one that we like to play on the boardwalk, but very interesting. And then the last one is Munchies Mealtime. And the Munchies Mealtime is a guaranteed prize game where you basically just pay for the size of Squishmallow or other plushie. It looks like the lowest level might be another plushie. They also have a couple combo deals for playing all three of these games. Uh, it's kind of interesting how it works out because Airtime is a multiplayer game. They have some really cute Squishmallows there as well, but um, let's see. I think we should at least play one of these, if not two or three. Okay, well, here's your weird update about these games. We just went over to the person at the baseball game, which is the closest other carnival game. And we said, hey, can we play the three new games? And he said, well, is there nobody over there? And I said, well, no, there's nobody over there. Is there any way you can help us out? And he said, well, there should be somebody over there. But it's been set up for the day. Like, right. there's feedback I mean, set. We obviously are able to stand in here, so they, there's not really a gate, but the games are all running. They've all been set up, and we're just standing here waiting. So maybe try back in like an hour. That's not his fault, obviously, but. Yeah, but uh, it's disappointing, you know, if we really want to play these. I know, we want to play these games, and they're obviously running, but there's just nobody here to physically take our money, even though all the prizes are also here. That's just really weird. Even the basketballs are, like, sitting right here. We'll just run our own games today, Katie. <laughs> we could. <laughs> okay, since we can't play those games right now, we're going to play a game we've never played um, at all, not even on or off video. Um, so this is Strikeout. $6 for three balls, one strike for small, two for large, three for jumbo. Um, and they have that same replay deal that the basketball had. Um, your first replay is one extra ball and your second replay is two extra balls. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. Okay, well, um, let me... It's I far. I don't know. Spencer. It's kind of misleading like how far it is probably on camera. Um, and these are also in-ball soft baseballs. Okay. I always like to point that out, which makes it a little bit harder because they're not going to go probably as hard or fast as you think they are. But let's see. I'm, I've never been good at baseball like this, so you don't want to hit that bad either. Yeah, the, as if the game wasn't hard enough. Okay, so not quite high Okay, enough. so that was pretty close. He's going to adjust here. Okay. Take a step to your right. Yeah, Take a step to your right. All yeah. Right. Got to go a little higher, too. Oh. Too high. Hit him right in the head. Oh, goodness. I, well, I think he would be out. Yeah. Yeah, if I was feeling a little bit more confident about this, I would do the replay deal because one extra ball for the next play and the two for the next play is even better. Yeah, uh, if you got close on this, you should do the replay deal. But it's fun to play a game we haven't played before. Exactly. I always love doing that. All right, we are back at Buckets Oh Fun. Look, Katie is going to play. I'm just, I'm just too tall. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't have to duck like I have to duck. Okay. I definitely have to duck. All right, so she's got, this is her first play, so she's only got three balls right now. Okay, but my goal is two. I want a baby Gengar. She wants a baby Gengar. Too short. Just a little shy. It's okay. I had a warm-up, too. Yeah. Too Oh, that hard. was so close. It almost stayed That's in. okay. Let's practice this one. We need this one. practice. Ooh, it's so hard with these hitting my head every time. There's something about it that makes me flinch. <laughs> um... I don't even know if it's worth playing it again. We have to talk about it. Okay, Katie's got her instant replay here, so she's got one more shot with four balls this time. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that, that was, was so closer. close. Oh, oh, robbed. Oh, man, you're getting, these are all just so close to just not staying in. 
Oh, it's that angle of that dang tub that gets you every single time. It's so horizontal that even even though those are all like perfectly executed throws, sometimes they just don't stay in that bucket. And that's what happened that one time that I got all those candy canes. I did such great throws, they just did not stay inside well, of that bucket. Well, it's weird that Spencer does better at some tubs than I do. I did better at Canada's Wonderland, but he always does better at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's so cute. Ah! It's really soft. This is a super, super quality plushie. This is a 10 for us. Um, can you see the Knott's Berry Farm tag? Oh, it's got its little stable tag on there. That is so cute. And since we've already started another stamp card, I figured I would show it to you guys. Oh yeah, this is what it looks like. We didn't even show it to you earlier. So yeah. sorry. They have these really cute Ghost Town Alive stamps. I really like this. Sometimes their cards have been a little bit wonky, especially probably later to the end of the promotion. But these are great full color, and these prizes are quality. Look how large that is. Okay, we are heading to the newly reopened Fiesta Village. Now, we're so excited the last couple times we've been here at Knott's. It has not been open, but now it is mostly open. We'll say it's mostly open. They've taken out the arcade over here that had a few claw machines that we didn't really love too much, and they've built an entirely new restaurant. We're super excited. Everything is new and fresh and has some nice paint jobs and overall just a full kind of redo of the area. But most importantly, some of our favorite games are back, at least one of them. But we've heard it might be a little bit more difficult than it was before, so let's go check it out. Okay, so as we walk in here, it is so much more open, and that's because, I mean, at first glance, they've taken away the very large multiplayer games area that was right here smack in the middle. So they've redone all this pavement. It looks like they've updated some things around here, really updated this outdoor patio area, but they did take out a couple games already, so Yeah, no pinata okay. game, no multiplayer game. Yeah, no pinata, no multiplayer game. They had already moved the high striker over to the boardwalk, which is totally fine, but, oh man, where's, where's our one game at? Yeah. Okay, we found Lotteria. It did move and it's entirely different, but it's the same concept. So you pick one of these tablets and those are the ones you have to knock down to win. And if you guys remember this before, it was on the other side of the Fiesta Village and it had Over by the bathrooms. Yeah, but uh, it was much farther away and much more kind of closed off. This is really open, really nice. But tablet three is still the easiest card because it's going to be all your ones in the middle rows. Okay. All right, so we have how many? Five shots? Five shots. All you got to do is stay behind the carpet. Stay behind the carpet. Six one, five, left one or the right one? Oh, stick to Oh, so we got two separate sides, so left one and the right one. Okay. And so it's three wins of small, four wins of medium, five wins of very large. Okay. Okay, are you going left or right? I'm going to go on the right side if that's okay. Okay. So basically we can just stick straight down the middle at least to start. Okay. We got little bean bags here. Oh, oh, not it's hard enough. Knock over. Oh. Not hard enough again. Okay, well we have to make 100% completion now to win anything. Okay. Okay, we got one. Oh. No! Oh, it sat on there. Look, there's like a little ledge oh, it sat on. Man. Okay, well this is just for nothing then. And just Good tapped time. it again. So I tapped it all five times, but man, I only got one down because I didn't throw it hard enough. I thought for sure it was just going to be fine with just accuracy. It wasn't the case today. We have the Fruta Mercado over here. This is also a brand new game. And if you watched our video at the Boys and Mary Festival, it's going to look very familiar, but they put their own Fiesta Village twist on it. Very cute. You can already see the fruit squishmallows. I actually love this display. It is so cute right here at the cast register. But you're going to toss this fruit, very adorable squishy fruits, into these baskets. Now, this is a pay for your prize game. It all depends on the size games. Oh, look, they spin too. How exciting. <laughs> That's cool. So this is your lowest level here, your smalls, which are $8. 15 are going to be these little tiny pinatas. And 20 is the Squishmallow Fruits, which I love. I think it's super themed. We've won this before. It's a really quality plush. Yeah, I really love this. I love the addition. You guys remember, I think we just threw bean bags in it during the Boysenberry Festival. But the fact that they have these little squishy fruits that you just toss right into those baskets, I think is a super fun game and a super fun addition. And really, just a gorgeous backdrop over here for both of these games with the roller coasters. This is just super neat. You may think that Tub Toss has gotten the most money from us at Knott's Berry Farm, but even with its small hiatus, Lotteria has definitely <laughs> taken all of our pennies. It did. When it was at the previous location, they had Squishmallows, and it was just so much fun, and we kept trying to get it. We never got the top level. Because I actually got all five cards down one time, but it was not the right card. The fifth one was not the right card. Oh, man. All right, we're going to try this. Okay, so we got to remember, it has a little bit more speed. Accuracy still needs to be really good, though. We're playing on the left side instead of the right okay. side. Okay, so that's okay, one. one. Oh! You definitely have to hit it on the top of the block, too, to get it to knock over. But not too high. So we got to get both of these to get a prize. Okay, this is it. It all comes down to this. Oh, man. 
Oh, oh I nicked it again. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm improving. I got one the first time, two the second time. Okay, Dang it. this is the game that needs a replay deal, uh, though. Oh, no, right? There's no replay deal on this one. If there was, we spent even more money. That's very true. My hands may look a little lighter, and that's because we already passed on that giant Pikachu to a very deserving, nice family who was asking where we got it, and um, they're very excited about it. But, you know, the name of the game was not really trying to win big prizes today. We were actually trying to show you guys some new games. Winning the Catawampus was the number one goal, and these little themed farm animals happen to work out really well as well. So, um, once again, Knott's Berry Farm has some of the most fun games and some of our favorite prizes especially when they do those coupon packs with the stamps and everything. You gotta come during their special events. It's the best deal on games.